Welcome back to the garage, everybody. Working on the old blue willies, working on the gas tank still. We did make some really good progress though, and uh, it's ready for its first test fit um, now after all that welding. So here she is. And uh, big things, I got the fuel filler neck. So this is uh, upside down. So uh, yeah, anyways upside down right now. Um, so I got the skid plate uh, on and fitted and welded on. So this is an eighth inch uh, stainless steel skid plate that's just stitch welded to the bottom of the tank. I still need to put the mounting holes in here that are going from the bumper, but um, gonna do that, gonna mark those when I do the test fit um, underneath the rig. I got all the the chassis mounts on. There's one, this would be the uh, passenger side um, underneath the frame rail. And then there's one that goes to the body here. And then there's another one right there that goes up to one of those cross members um, on the frame that's underneath the rear floor. So yeah, all the welding is done. It was a bit of a lot of welding. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one was a little bit fun. This is one of the, another one of those inside corners. Um, I'd have to say if you can, if you can in your designs, if you ever do something similar to this, I don't really like welding inside corners, especially on sheet metal. Um, I don't know what the big deal is with it. Um, it just seems to take an odd amount of heat um, because it's an inside corner. And so then the metal overheats a little bit faster um, and you have a hard time moving as fast. And so I would actually just avoid it if you can. So um, yeah, avoid inside corners on thin sheet metal exotic gas tank builds. Check. Um, yeah, so other than that, pretty darn happy. Um, didn't get a, get a whole ton of warping. I mean, you can see a little bit down the sides, but overall with uh, all the bending and the tacking and the fitting, um, it stayed pretty pretty true. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be about a, um, about a 20 gallon tank, give or take. There'll have to be some airspace in the top, so um, it'll be, It'll probably be like closer to 18-ish, 19-ish, depending on what angle the filler's on and all that. But yeah, this is a big, this is a big um, monster project. Whoa, pointer stick. Um, out of the way um, that I've been working on for a very long time. So I'm happy to get this thing 95% done. And so now all I need to do, cutting off my head there, is, uh, it's gonna go back underneath the old blue willies for a test fit. Um, I need to make a couple little uh, weld on threaded insert type things for the frame side. I'm gonna mark the frame where the holes are um, based on the final location of the brackets, not the other way around. Um, so then I'll drill the frame, put the, put the threaded bungs, brackets, whatever it needs in there, um, the rear, uh, underneath the bumper where the skid plate ties in, I'll mark all that and drill it. And so it is, it is, uh, probably a day or two away from going in there for the first time, um, and holding itself up in and all that. And now the next project is going to be the fuel filler neck. So that's going to be on the passenger side. Um, and it's going to come out of the tank and kind of snake up to the, to the rear, uh, corner. Uh, rear wall of the passenger side corner and uh, that's going to be in combination with that uh, c pillar down tube on that side and and all that so that'll be a fun little little thing to get in there and some fun um, however we poke that out on the on the sheet metal of the body getting something in there to to roll the edge over or whatever um, but that's going to be a fun little one but yeah not bad for a monday so Thanks for following along on uh, all these crazy builds, crazy stuff. And if 
you like the details and all that, um, or if you have any questions, drop a comment below, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to follow along, and uh, there's a bell. I think there's a bell. Yeah. Anyways, you know, all the YouTube things. Thanks for following along, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.